Welcome back to St. Traces. Okay, so today I'll be showing you a makeup tutorial and I'll be showing a lot of products that are new to my channel that I have recently gotten from Sephora. Okay, so I'm trying out the Fenty Beauty. I've got the lip gloss, I've got the foundation. If you can see guys, I have it in the number 380. And I've got a new cover effect, an orange corrector that you're going to see in the video. I've got a few things that I'm trying out and I'm super excited to bring you this look today so I hope you like it and you enjoy it. Please, if you're new to my channel, please, please, please subscribe and if you like what I do, please give it a thumbs up. Shall we get started? Shall we get started? Okay, so I'm prepping my skin with the MAC Fix Plus to give it more moisture. Mm. <laughs> then I'm going in with my favorite 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 primer the ever met poreless primer okay so you guys have seen me do my eyebrows i've got an eyebrow tutorial so if you want to see more about how i do my eyebrows you can click and find out in the video that i've made okay And yes, we need to moisturize our lips. Ugh. Okay, so my kids got into my makeup. <gasps> what? Mm. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, back to the tutorial. So I'm going in with my eyeshadows from my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette okay so you can just see <laughs> so that's the trick I like to use where you put your concealer and then you close your eyes that way you know exactly where your um, highlighting shadow should end <laughs> So yeah, just to make sure the color comes out, it's good to actually put your MAC Fix Plus or just wet your brush as well. So blend, 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 guys, blend your eyeshadows. So I've been working on my wing eyeliner and I think, yeah, I'm getting it down slowly but surely. <laughs> So at first I was putting it straight on but I thought that it is going to be tugging on my wrinkles that you know you know you know so I made sure I used my hands the ring finger and I think I went ham <laughs> too much orange okay so this is the part that we all want to see okay so this is the foundation from Fenty Beauty and guys I totally totally love this foundation it comes in a sleek package and there I'm just putting like four pumps out for you and it's quite runny and you'll see when I start applying it onto my face that it is actually matching with my neck can you see that guys like I've been struggling to find a perfect foundation and I think I've found it I'm gonna try shade lighter because I've noticed that sometimes it does tend to get darker it, when it oxidizes So yeah, guys, this was me like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm in love. <laughs> so I'll let you guys see, like seriously, just, just, just see how beautiful this is. So 
So I didn't want my under eyes to be cakey, so I deliberately left the foundation and not put it under my eyes. So that there I'm going in with my creamy concealer from NARS. I really like it, it's quite nice. Tell me if you're dancing to this tune. This is quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so I'm setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I like this guys because it's finely milled, but I'm wanting to try the banana powder as well. Okay, so I'm just contouring my face. So I've seen this technique somewhere on YouTube where you curve in your um, contour and I like that because it gives you like a bronzy effect over by your cheekbone area. And I like going in um, on my forehead because, guys, we need to make that smaller. And yeah, so I like to also go in under my chin, just bring out my chin. And yeah, the double chin under there. So you're just creating shadow to make it look slimmer, guys. So yeah. And this is my favorite part as well to contour my nose. So I like to have it all up into the eyeshadow and blend it um, like that and all the way down to the tip of my nose make sure you're highlighting the center part of the nose so as you can see I'm blending it tin to the eyeshadow and just blending it a little bit more before I go in with my beauty blender so guys blend 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 so you see what I was talking about how it kind of comes into the cheek born area and it creates this nice bronzy effect so normally you just highlight the parts of your face that the lights heat and you darken or contour the parts of your face that have shadows so that's just how it works so yeah guys, I'm just going in and blending in my nose contour so that we don't have any blotchy. So I'm going in with this bronzer, guys, it makes my skin very sun-kissed. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my lips. <laughs> oh, I can't talk. Okay, so I'm just setting my face with the Max 6 Plus again, and then I'm going in with my lashes because it's lash time. I'm loving these Demi Wispies. Mm. So make sure you use the darkest shadow that you were using on your eyeshadow to just go in on your lower lash line and I like to highlight my inner corner, the inner corner of my eyes just to make my eyes pop and to give it a little bit of brightness. 
So I'm going in with this illuminizer, so it's the highlight, and guys, look at that. That is popping. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's white, but then it turns like a goldish, yellowish tone. It's quite nice, and the girl is about to go ham. Mm -hmm. See that glow? So here's my Huda Beauty lipstick and my Fenty Beauty gloss bomb. So I'm going to be using these today together. So I will start off with my Huda Beauty matte. So you see it's kind of like a nude lip liquid matte lipstick. And yeah, so going on on top of the lip liner, it makes it have some, you know, like some red hues in it. I like to clean the outside of my... <laughs> Of my lips as well and then here I am going in with the Fendi Beauty gloss bomb So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today, my makeup tutorial. 